And there's nothing unhuman about unholy about being human. There's nothing unholy about mother earth. There's nothing unholy about any of this. Right. I think we need to talk about the emotional leg. Absolutely. Um, people, emotions are energy in motion. Um, emotions are the color. They are the paint on the canvas Mm. of our lives. It, and so many people have such a harsh relationship (laughs) with their emotions. They feel that they feel bad for feeling bad. This is a trap by the way, bad for feeling bad. Well, when you're human, you're going to feel emotions. This is part of the trip you're on. Yes. Right. It's part of the human experience. You get to experience every feeling around the whole spectrum (laughs) of duality. And you're supposed to, it's what gives your life juice. It's the juice. Like it's, it's what you want in order to make your life more fulfilling. You're supposed to feel everything head to toe. Yeah. And this is the thing. What you feel doesn't define you. What you that feel doesn't define you is powerful. Yes. What you feel doesn't define you. We got to sit with that for a minute. Mm-hmm. That's powerful. People over identify humans over identify with their bodies. Mm-hmm. They measure their worth according to how they look or how they're perceived. Right. Or their title on yeah. a physical level there, they over identify with what they're feeling. Like I should be over this by now. Why am I feeling this? Why am I so upset? Why am I angry? Why am I jealous? Why am I insecure? Why this? Why, why that? Well, the reality is, is that you're not your thoughts. You're not your body. You're not your feelings. It's an experience here. It's part of your human vehicle. This is what you get to feel. You get to be this human thing, yes. right? And you came here to feel it. You came here to fully (laughs) experience everything. And it's not, and we're in a consumer society. You know, it's like we've been domesticated to believe that, okay, when I want happiness, I can, I'm going to go to the store and there's going to be all these things on the, on the shelf. And I understand I'm, you know, (laughs) I simplify this so much, but, but sincerely, it's like, we have these beliefs that we should be able to go to the store and say, okay, I don't want jealousy. I don't want rage. I don't want unhappiness or sadness or depression, but I want joy. I want peace. I want (laughs) happiness. I want beauty. The problem is, is that you cannot have, you cannot experience happiness without sadness. The way that life is set up here and the world of Maya or the world of dreams is what shamans call the, this world, the world of Maya or the world of dreams, waking dreams, sleeping dream is that everything is a two-sided coin. Mm. You can't ever feel true happiness. If you don't give yourself permission without judgment to fully feel sadness, it, it doesn't, you can't choose. You can't. That And the problem is, is because of that, because people keep numbing the harsh parts or the parts that are difficult about this adventure, then they become indifferent over time. We come like numbed over. Numb. And Where there's it's... nothing worse than indifference. Yeah. It's like just being, huh, I don't feel anything. Which that's so common. I feel like for all mm-hmm. of us to just fall into that and as we discovered more about the emotions that we took like a whole month in yep. feeling and learning. And I hated it Yes, <laughs> when we first started, it just like, it was such a hard thing for me to learn. And even today I'm like constantly giving myself permission to feel only because it's so vulnerable and It can almost feel like if I feel my emotions too much, I'm mentally unstable. And Mm -hmm. I think that as people open up and they're more sensitive, they're raising their vibration. I feel like collectively this fear comes into play of like, if I'm feeling things so much, 
something is wrong with me or it's going to overtake my life. I'm going to fall into a deep abyss and I'm never going to come yes, out. Yes, because it's almost yes. like that's over labeling as well. Mm-hmm. And one of my favorite things is when we first got started, we did, you were teaching Reiki and I was a part of that. And you did an activity about setting yourself off on the bench mm-hmm. or writing like in a meditation and we'll have to do a meditation like this on our YouTube channel mm-hmm. so that they can re-listen to this or get into this space as well. But also being able to write down all of the things that you label yourself as mm-hmm. and then giving them up to, to Archangel Michael mm-hmm. and then fully stepping into your gifts or stepping into who you are as a healer or as a shaman or as a medicine woman, or even as someone who wants to be an artist or a painter or a musician, right? Mm-hmm. All of these things. And when we can stop over identifying or labeling ourselves, we actually give our spirit permission to feel who we actually are versus who we are in this meat stick. Yes. And I think of it as like in our mind, I feel like it's like us leaning forward and looking out in the world. But when we can connect into our spirit and feel that, it's like we step back and we sit into our heart space. And that's where that channel, that connection comes in. Ooh, yes. But you have to feel it and it's yes. intimidating yes. and it's vulnerable and it can be painful, but also so amazing. So, so exciting rewarding. and so rewarding. Yes. Cause it, then it's like your, your life becomes technicolor. Once you actually fully feel what you need to feel in your life. And this is the thing too, that came to my mind when you said, cause it's like, there's an innocence and purity about, it, right? Yeah. Um, one of the, my favorite scriptures that the Lord said, he said, you must be like a child to enter the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Well, a child is so connected to their emotions. They don't judge their emotions. They feel everything. They feel everything and they allow that energy to move through them. And they could be crying one second. And then five minutes later, they're happy. And they, they've forgotten what they were upset <laughs> about. They don't hold on to yeah, it. Yeah, They're fully present and they don't judge the energy and motion, the emotions coming through the intensity of those emotions coming through their body. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying that we go out there and act like children. Okay. And that we throw fits and that we, but as adults, if we don't give ourselves permission to be truly honest with ourselves, and this is like either journal writing and and just laying it all out or going into the car. If you can't do this at home, go into the car, scream, cry, tell your, say what you really feel. And it could be very inappropriate Mm -hmm. in every way, but give yourself permission to truly feel everything with honesty, no judgment, just honesty, just, just raw honesty, allow the energy to go through The energy cannot overtake you. You are not that it's an experience. It cannot, those emotions will not overtake you. You will come back to yourself because you are the embodiment of wisdom. If you trust and have faith within yourself and you know who you are, you can allow yourself to feel those things, to go scream it out, to say every cuss word known to man, whatever you need to do in, in the privacy or in safety of your own space. If we don't give ourselves permission to truly feel what ends up happening in our, in our lives and our societies is that we're more likely to act out in anger or rage because that energy builds up within us. And then we eventually it has to be released. It has to be released somehow, either in a toxic, unhealthy way, or it affects our bodies through disease and imbalance or mentally it's, we have, it has to come out. It's energy. Absolutely. So this is so crucial to that emotional leg is just being, it's that raw honesty with yourself. Yes to give yourself permission to say, it's okay to feel this. And it, it doesn't reflect on me as of who I am. It doesn't make me a bad person. This does not measure my worth or who I am. This is an experience I am having. I'm going to allow myself to have it. And, and it may take a little bit and that's okay. I'll be gentle with myself yes, and compassionate with myself and curious And I trust that through that experience, if I give myself full permission to feel it, life will not bring this around 
to be learned again and again and again until we learn it, <laughs> that it will come through my life. I will be able to retrieve the diamonds and I'll be able to move forward more awake, more conscious and more empowered. Absolutely. That's healthy emotion.